What do you do once or twice every minute in your classroom, 70,000 times a year? The answer is, ask a question. If you've been teaching 15 years, you've probably asked one million questions. And since you knew the answer to most of them, people have been locked away for less. So what sort of questions should you be asking? I've spent over 30 years studying and analysing the questions that teachers ask in their classrooms, and it's a fascinating topic. My research revealed that the main types of questions asked by teachers in primary schools are managerial, 57%, such as, have you all got your books? Lower order or factual recall, 35%, such as, how many wives did Henry VIII have? And higher order, only 8%, such as, what would have happened if the Spanish Armada had won? And in secondary schools, higher order questions, only 4%. What sort of answers do you get when you ask questions? If you want interesting answers, you've got to ask interesting questions. I've analysed thousands of questions asked by primary and secondary teachers. Most are simple, short factual recall and a brief answer. What's the capital of France? Paris. Next question, please. Now, there's nothing wrong with that if you want factual recall, but some teachers never ask anything that's more demanding. I once saw a whole lesson based on an opening question plus a few probes. What's going to happen when the new motorway reaches our town? The research that I and other people have carried out doesn't prove that one type of question is always better than another, but it does show that a variety of questioning techniques will elicit a wider and higher range of response than a diet of short factual recall questions. If you want a more reflective answer, you may also have to wait longer. So here are three key points to try out in your classroom, and appropriately enough, they're in the form of questions. Do I ask varied and searching questions, or are they pretty narrow and predictable? Do I give children time for extended answers, or do I cut them off too early in the interest of pace? And do I give them clear feedback, or do I leave them dangling in uncertainty? You'll probably ask another 70,000 questions this year, so it's certainly worth a close look. Mm -hmm.